Well, let me set the scenario. In San Antonio, this winter, it was a Tuesday. He had just woken up, and outside there was a fog. This winter, Christian Escamilla in the San Antonio fog. Oh man, Whew. it was really cold last night. All right, let me step outside. See what the, today has in store. Man, I'm feeling sick. Sick as a whale. All right, got my clothes on. I'm ready to go. All right, get out the door. Oh, oh, dang! What is this stuff in the air? Why is it blocking my vision? I, I can't even see my car. Oh no. It's the dreaded fog. All right, well, let's just see if I can at least get down the street. Fog lights for sale. What was that? We all float down here. Oh, man. What is going on today? This weather stinks. Let me run over here real quick. Are you my daddy? What the heck? No. I ain't nobody's daddy. Well, I can't find my mom. Oh, that's no good. Uh, what's your name? My name is Susie. Susie, how the heck did you get out here? Well, I was playing with a basketball, and then it went, I was trying to dribble, like an NBA basketball player and then it hit my leg and it just went into that big old scary pothole over there. So I went after it and uh, well, now I'm lost. Well, don't worry Susie, I'll, I'll help you get home. Uh, what street do you live on? I live on Southwest Military. Uh, okay, well, that's real close by. Uh, oh, let's get going. Jump on my back. Okay, if you say so. Man, this day is starting out really weird. I just wanted to go outside and go for a drive, and now I gotta... Man, why is this fog so thick? I gotta find this girl's home quick. I'm starting to see things out here. Fog lights for sale what was that did you hear that yeah I heard that but I can't see anything I can't even see my hands in front of my face damn fog well there is a light over there let's go that way okay let's try going that way what is that in the distance? Hey! Help me! Help me! I'm a scientist! A scientist? All the way out here? Let's get closer. Oh! Hello! My name is Professor... Professor... Schmugenberg. Professor Schmugenberg? What kind of name is that? It's German. All right, well, what are you doing out here? Well, I'm a scientist, so I'm doing some data analysis on the fog. And my conclusions have proven that it is very thick. So thick, in fact, that it is a number 10 on the universal fog scale. A universal fog scale? I didn't even know they had such a thing. You look weird. You have glasses. And you look nerdy. 
Susie, be nice. This guy's just trying to do research out here. It is kind of weird. Yeah, well, according to my calculations, if we head in the southwest direction, past all the taco shops, we should read a safe zone. A safe zone, you say? Yes. And there, we can all have a good, nice cup of tea. Tea? All right, well, let's get going. You got anything to help us get there? Well, I brought my laptop on this uh, shopping cart, so why don't you guys jump in? And I also have something very important. Uh, what is it? It looks like some sort of box. And it, it, it's making noises. Right. Ring, 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 ring. What do you got in there? Well, according to my calculations, in order to keep away the spookies out here in the fog, we need these little gerbils. Gerbils? Oh, gerbils. I like gerbils. What's a gerbil? Well, Susie, a gerbil is like kind of like a, a little... I don't know what they are, like a little rat almost, but furrier and cuter and chubbier. And they make great pets. Well, I want one. Well, Susie, uh, you can't have these. These are very important. Because when a spook is nearby, they start to chatter. Right? Oh no, they're chattering. Something must be nearby. Oh look, what is that in the distance? What are you guys doing out here? Is that a vampire? Susie, get behind me. And you, Dr. Schnugenberg, or whatever your name was, get behind me too. I'll protect you guys. All right, good, because I wasn't going to do a damn thing. Ah, I see there's a fresh a snack outside. There is one, a two... A threes of you. Three snacks. And the letter of the day is B. B for blood. I want your blood. I'm just, I'm getting straight to the point and give me your blood or else I will hurt you. Can I have some blood, please? Well, uh, good thing I brought this garlic in my pocket and no. You may not have our blood. Oh, no, garlic. All I wanted was the blood. <laughs> Why do you have garlic in your pocket? Well, my mom always told me to always care, carry a spare clove of garlic. She told me, Mijo, when you are out with your friends, sometimes you guys will make tacos and nobody has garlic so don't be that guy and that's that's pretty much why I always have garlic in my left pocket you know what I have in my right I don't want to know what's in your pockets I hate garlic you're weird well I'll tell you anyway I always have barbecue sauce in my right pocket uh okay why why barbecue sauce well, my mom always said, Mijo, when you're out with your friends and you're making tacos, always carry garlic. But always, uh, sometimes, your friends might want a barbecue. So bring the barbecue sauce. Because, you know, you don't want to be that guy. And that's pretty much why. Well, uh, Chris, uh, according to my uh, hypotheses, we better start running right now. Yeah, let's get out of here. This vampire's freaking me out. Whoa! Oh no, you've got a little kid. I don't like kids. Well, good luck in the fog. I hope you don't get eaten by something weird out there. But I hope you do, because you did not give me any blood. <laughs> All right, guys, let's jump back in the shopping cart. Let, let, let's get out of here. All right, let, let's scurry away. away. 
man. Professor Schnuggieberg. It's a good thing you had those gerbils in that box. Otherwise, we would have never known. Yeah, Chris. Uh, this fog is a number 10, remember, on the on the universal fog rating scale. So, yeah, we, we need these gerbils or else uh, we can't see a damn thing. Yeah, can I keep one of the gerbils? No, Susie. You may not. Oh, look. There's ours at Morris Street. We're almost at our destination. Fog lights for sale. Did you hear that? Uh, yes, Susie. Sound like someone saying fog lights for sale. But wait. Oh no. What's that over there? Under the highway. Oh, Chris, the gerbils are chattering again. Let's go hide and hope this thing doesn't get us. Oh, no. Oh, it looks so gross. I can't even describe what it looks like. It's like it has horns on its head and... uh It has tentacles for arms, and it looks like it has wheels for hands. It it looks crazy. Let's run away from this thing. Let's get out of here. Oh, wow. Man, today's getting just weirder and weirder. I don't even know what that last thing was. Oh, look. Look, Susie. You see that over there? Yeah. It looks like a pirate ship. You're right. It does. There's like a big sail and... Dr. Schmuggenberg, use your computer to analyze it. All right, Chris, but uh, don't tell me what to do. I'll do it myself. All right, let me just punch in a couple codes here. Yep, we're online. Yep, yep. The Wi-Fi is good here. It's a good connection. All right, let me just bring up the browser. And, uh, yeah, let's start scanning. It appears that you guys have stumbled upon a pirate ship from the 17th century. Wow. A pirate ship? I'm kind of curious. Let's go check it out. Hello? Is anyone up there? Yar! It be I! It is I, Captain Pegleg. Welcome aboard, me ship. Thank you, uh, Captain Pegleg. This is uh, little Susie over here. Hello, I like your peg leg. Yar, thank you very much. That's why they call me Captain Pegleg. And who are you? Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Schnuggenberg, and uh, I study fog, you know. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I, I guess so. Well, welcome aboard me ship. This is me deckhand. Uh, Sporty McJibbins. Hey, guys. My name's Sporty McJibbins. I'm the pirate's deckhand. Um, hello, uh, Mr. McJibbins. Uh, you okay? You sound kind of sad. Well, I like being a pirate, but... Sometimes it gets lonely up here. Gar, you be quiet, McJibbins, and get back and screw up the floor. Okay, I guess. Later, guys. I'll be over here scrubbing the deck. If you guys want to hang out later, how 
I'll be over here. Arg. Well, we're heading on the course straight for the light. We hear a sound that says fog lights for sale, and that would be very important right now. So let's hoist the sails. Man the deck and let's get on our merry way. Sounds like a good plan. McJibbids, get back here. Oh, hey, Captain Pegleg. Uh, what are we doing again? Arr, McJibbins, you be a sad, salty dog. Yeah, I'm a salty dog. Well, McJibbins, put on your good shoes. And put on your new eye patch. We're setting sail. Arr, Captain. Whatever you say. All right, guys, let's get on this boat. And uh, this looks like our only safe place. So let's see where the captain leads us. Okay. Whatever. My, uh, my computer says this is the best situation for us. Ring, ring. Oh no, the gerbils are chattering again. Yar! There's something in the distance. You see anything up there, McGibbons? Well, I see. It looks like vampires. Oh no, not them again. Yar, them again? What do you mean? Well, earlier, uh, we were, you know, walking through, and uh, these vampires were bugging us. But don't worry, I have garlic. Garlic, eh? Good man. Let's see what they want. La! I see you have returned. And now you have a pirate with you. How very interesting. Do you still not want to give me your a blood? No, we don't want to give you our blood. What are you doing out here anyway? Well, I heard the sound. It said, fog lights for sale, I think. And I cannot see anything out here with this thick fog. I can't see the blood bank. I need to get some blood in me. But this fog is too thick. Um, all right. I don't know why you sang that last part, but uh, why don't we all team up? That sounds like a good idea. Now there are five, six of us. There's a one little Susie. Uh, a, a, a two with you, Chris. A three with your computer nerd guy. A four with that deckhand. A five with a pirate. And a six with me, the vampire. And today's letter of the day is B for blood. Yeah, you said that already. Oh, okay. Well, I'll be here in the back. Oh, no. A freaking vampire. I've seen all the movies. I know what vampires do. Yar, McJibbins, grow ye a pair of socks. We're setting course for the light. Do you hear that? Uh, yeah, I, th I think I hear it. Let let's let's listen closely. Fog lights for sale. We're getting closer, guys. It's a little bit farther. Fog lights for sale. Hey, we are getting closer. It looks like a man. You're right, little Susie. Wait. Is that who I think it is? Gyar, you know this fellow? 
Ah, Chris, you know this guy selling the fog lights. Good. Well, I hope he can help us out. I don't like being next to this vampire. Speak for yourself. I like your new eye patch. It looks good on you. Thanks, man. Well, Chris, if you know this fellow, maybe he can give us uh, some fog lights and we'll be on our way. I think I do. It looks like... It looks like my friend... Chimichanga Fog lights for sale Fog lights for sale Chimmy, oh my, wow What are you doing out here? Hey, Chris What's up, Holmes? I'm out here trying to sell these fog lights So you're the one Yes I think so, but uh what are you doing out here, Carnal? Um, we got lost. Uh, this is my friend, little Susie. Hello. Can we have a fog light? Well, hello, little Susie. These are for sale. Yeah, but why are you selling them out here in this fog? Well, Chris, right now it's prime time to sell fog lights. It's my daughter's quinceanera coming up. And I need to sell all these fog lights. So I thought, you know, maybe I sell some today. What are you guys doing out here? Well, like I told you, we're lost, but uh, can we have a couple fog lights? Yes, give us some fog lights, please. Well, I would love to, guys, but these are for sale. So it's going to cost you about a about, uh, you know, maybe let's see, uh, carry the one, multiply by four, give a dog a bone, pick up sticks, put a needle in my eye. It's gonna, each one I can sell about, uh, uh five dollars. Vlad, that's pretty good price. Let me check my bag. Oh, uh, Oh, I have five dollars I can contribute. Dear, I have me a golden shilling. How many fog lights for a golden shilling? Well, Holmes, I can give you a good price. I give you a, I give you a, a three fog lights for a golden shilling. Okay, and I got five bucks for another fog light. I don't have any money. I can't get a fog light. Uh, don't worry, little Susie. I got your bag. I'll, I'll get you a fog light. Oh, thanks, Chris. It appears that uh, I am also out of currency. You got my bag, Chris? Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, I got your bag, Dr. Schnoogieberg. All right, well, let's pack all these fog lights up. Thank you so much, Jimmy. I'm so glad we ran into you. It's no problem, Holmes. You know me. I be selling things here and there. I go to the pool guy, sell my fog lights, you know. You know, my daughter, she's going to have an awesome quinceanera, hermano. We're going to play nothing but Salina songs. And we're going to eat mole. We're gonna have corn. It's gonna be awesome. I'll invite you guys. Vlad, I've never been to a quinceanera before. What shoe would I wear? Well, typically at a quinceanera, you just wear something nice, maybe a, a nice shirt, a tie, some slacks. It's not, you know, not too fancy, but it's fun. Yeah, what he said. But Holmes, bring all your friends. We're going to have lots of cervezas. Guacamole is going to be lit. Did you just say lit, Jimmy? Yeah, that's what I said. It's going to be lit. All right, well, we'll definitely be there. When's it going to be? Next week. All right, well, that sounds good. Thanks again, Jimmy. No problem, Holmes. Well, I'm off. 
go home. Oh no, what's that over there? Oh guys, it's that weird thing that was under the highway. Oh, the gerbils, they're chattering again. Right? Right, right. Oh no, it's that thing with the weird tentacles and oh, it's just awful. I'm gonna eat all of you. Oh no, it's going to eat me. It's going to eat all of us. Quick, someone think of something. Well, we have these fog lights. Let's turn them on and point it at the thing. All right. Here, Susie, you hold one. I got one. You, doctor? You vampire and pirate. Gar! I be seen a beast like this before. I've seen it in the ocean. It's called a kraken. A kraken? Yes. Gar, it be a horrible beast. It has taken down many of my men and many of my ships. Quick, let's get these fog lights. All right, guys, ready? Three, two, one, turn them on. Oh no, my only weakness. Fog lights, I melt Wow, I can't believe that worked. We're safe, guys, we did it. Yeah, Chris. Good plan. Wow. It worked like a charm. That beast will no longer be harming us. Now, how about you guys give me some blood? Uh, well, I don't know. You guys want to give this vampire some blood? I'll do it. But McJibbins, you sure? Yeah, this guy, you know, he's not that bad. Here, take a couple drops. Blah, thank you, Mr. Najibins, for your blood. And the letter of the day is B for blood. Yeah, we heard that before. All right, guys, well, let's part ways. And now that we can see with these fog lights, we should be able to get home. Gar, Chris, what a fantastic voyage it's been. Take ye kindly and sally ho. All right. Uh, Captain Peg, like, uh, <laughs> you take care. See you, McJibbins. I'll see y'all later. Maybe add me on social media or something. It's at McJibbins6 underscore pirate for life. Well, take care. <laughs> I'll do that, McJibbins. Uh, Professor, uh, you'll be good on your own? Yes, Chris. According to my calculations, now that I have this fog light, my rate of survival is 100%. So, thank you very much, and see you on the flip side. All right, <laughs> Professor, you take care. What about me? I miss my mom. Don't worry, little Susie. I got your back. All right, jump on my back. Let's... Let's point these fog lights in front of us. All right, let's keep going. Hey, I see my home. All right, sweet. Good thing we made it. And look, Susie, Professor Schmuggenberg left me these gerbils. I want you to have them. Oh, thanks, Chris. I always wanted a gerbil. Well, I gotta go inside. It's time for Saturday cartoons. All right, well, little Susie, you take care. It's been fun. Bye. All right. Now it's time for me to get home. All right, there's my street. All right, I'm back on the front porch. Man. That was crazy. Good thing we ran into Chimmy and all those weird people. I'm just glad I'm back home. 
hope this fog clears up. I got things to do today. Well, guys, it looks like everyone made it home from the dreaded fog. Yep, that's episode two, guys.